In this video, we will going to learn about routing in Azure Virtual WAN. We have created a couple of things in our previous video as a lab, for example, just to refresh our memory. And the same will help us or a part of uh, this session as well. For example, this was our Azure Virtual WAN that we have created and we also created a hub inside it let's suppose this this was our hub mm, this was our hub all right and we created uh, one azure virtual network and connected it with the hub network and we did peered it with the hub that's what we did and when we were peering it with the hub there were options of routing uh, propagation of routing and things like that these things we are going to learn in this video and i'll show you what exactly i'm talking about here like if I go virtual WAN, this is my virtual WAN. If I come to WAN uh, under virtual WAN, we have virtual network connections. And you could see two connections here. One we have created and one I prepared earlier for other class. So these were two connections and when we were creating the connection there were option of propagate to none routing configuration associate to route table propagate to route table these things right so what are these things first we need to learn that and then we'll see from where we can check the effective routes from where we can create the our own customized routes so by default azure virtual wan for example we did not associated anything when we are creating this connection so when we do not create anything by default uh, it was the connection that we have created let's call it a connection right and when we create hub by default there is a default route table there is a default route table default route table so whatever the routes defined here or getting defined here azure virtual network would uh, be able to read those and follow those so we did not define or associate any route table with our connection so by default it is going through a default route okay so by default azure virtual when simplifies routing by automatically managing route table and propagations when we create a virtual network or on process side to a virtual hub the hub propagates routes to these connections enabling seamless communication for example if we create uh, let's suppose there is an on-premises or office which could act as in site to site and to do that we must have a gateway here okay to create the side to side connection gateway right if we do not define anything this gateway is connected to hub and they're utilizing the default route and these routes propagated everywhere these routes connected to office virtual network and they can talk to each other without defining anything the transit will happen and default route table known as default route table that's the label that we give now what is the label i'll show you now before that i'll show you the custom routing in azure virtual when so what is custom routing well default default routing is sufficient for many scenarios there are cases where you need more control over the traffic flow this is where custom route table come into play custom route table allow you to define specific routes and control route propagation and association enabling you to direct traffic through a firewall or maybe define whether they can talk to each other or not 
so if i go here and under hub if we go to hub we open our hub and we can see route tables right here now here by default it has default named default route table and one called none okay but you can create your own from here it is loading uh, it will take some time and it will start showing the default and none. but you can create your custom route from here just like when we talk about azure virtual network we created the uh, route table as a separate resource and associated it with the uh, subnet here we create it through the hub because hub is a managed virtual network here we define the route name destination destination prefix and next hub just like we defined in the normal route table when we created in this series in few videos back label you can define the 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 label of the route table for example we can attach same label to multiple route table as well if you are if you like to propagate multiple routes in multiple route tables that can be done association is more like if we are associating it with some virtual network they are going to follow this and propagation is uh, refers to the process of sharing or advertising routes learned by a virtual hub with other connections or route tables within the hub it determines how the hub communicates routing information between connected resources such as vnet on-prem remote like point to site and other hubs right so this is custom route table and you can associate now we can see a few things under okay under if i come here under the hub and click on effective route here we can see which route is effective for what particular resource we can select a resource from here this is the default resource type route table resource default and we can see all the routes here all right so let me go back to the diagram here now this is the connection you established with the hub this is site to site with the hub let's suppose there is another virtual network right this is azure vnet 02 and let's call it 01 let's give them some range for example 10.1.0.0 slash 16 uh, this will help us understand it this is two and this is three All right and even this guy is connected to the hub i'm not taking it to the default route though but it is connected to the hub this is another connection Now, there is two things. Let's suppose, now we are trying to understand the routing. Let's suppose for scenario, we have, a, okay, first scenario is, we want, let me write it down here. Scenario one. We want VNet01 to talk to office office can talk to vnet 1 and vnet 2 as well now vnet 2 can also talk to the office but we don't want azure vnet to vnet connectivity one should not be able to talk to vnet 2 we don't want that no so these three can communicate not this one and we can achieve this with the help of route table all right how can we do that well by default all these routes gets created here or you can 
you can choose so that this 10.1 is here 10.2 is here right <clears throat> when this guy try to talk to this virtual network 10.1 by default this will go to the gateway gateway is utilizing default route table and it can talk to this virtual network similarly this will go to gateway 2 and it can talk to this virtual network when these guys these are connected to this but when these guys try to communicate it will see their own route table if we do not do anything they will follow the default route table but we also want these should not be able to talk to each other so what we did we simply created one more route table that was our that is our custom route table okay this is our custom route table and under custom route table we have only created one route route for 10. Three, which is on premises which means if this guy try to talk to on premises this will simply come here because this is what is associated with this virtual network and this virtual network okay so when they try to talk to they will come here and through this information they can talk to this guy and even this guy virtual order 2 can read this route and come here but when virtual network one try to talk to virtual network two it will come again to the same route and it will find no route there so not be able to talk to virtual network two same goes with the two come here no route cannot talk to the virtual network one so we can achieve this through the help of custom route now <clears throat> let's suppose scenario two let's take a scenario two what is the scenario scenario two is this was we, we, uh, in, in the same kind of scenario where we have vnet1 and vnet2 and hub of course we want to route all internet bound traffic through azure firewall deployed in our uh, hub let's say let's suppose this is our firewall which is in the So what we'll do we'll create a custom route we'll create another custom route in the hub and this custom route have next hop for internet so whenever and this custom route let's suppose also connected with these, these virtual networks right the same custom route we added one more uh, rule rule for the internet which is 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 slash 0 <clears throat> and it says whenever somebody try to access internet it should come to the firewall and firewall will decide whether it is allowed or not so in this scenario when somebody try to access internet from this virtual network it will not go to default because this one is associated with the azure virtual network it will come here next stop is firewall and as per the firewall if it is allowed it will go to the internet if it is not allowed it will stop it same goes with this virtual network too so in this video we just try to see from where in azure virtual network we can find route tables how can we control the routes where we can see the effective routes under hub as you can see under hub we have effective routes route tables right and if we go to the connections we created two connections and when we create the connections it gives us the option to associate the route table that we would like to attach with that particular connection we have already showed you let me show you again 
associate route table so here we can choose by default route table or the customized one as per the scenarios that we have talked about in this video i hope it was useful and we learned something about routing in virtual wan hub hope this was helpful thank you for watching and you guys have a wonderful day bye